What the? Where am I going? This thing's kind of hard to control. The map editor. Alright, whatever. We're gonna put it back to where it was. Where it's close to what it... We'll just control Z. How about that? Just put it down. Control Z. As many times as we need to. Alright. That's where I want it anyway. Um, we we'll have to get the X, Y, Z coordinates. <clears throat> Which I should have actually copied, so... We need to move on the server, so... I should have explained this, by the way. Um, so you get into your resources, how all these are resources. I actually created this folder, Pain Spray. And then created panspray underscore C, which stands for client, and then underscore S, which stands for server. You can name it whatever you want, but as long as you know which one is client and which one's server, it's all good. Maybe you just want a client function, doesn't matter. But uh, that's that's what's going on. So we're in the S folder for server, and we need to have this pulled up so I can figure out how to create this object because you know I don't remember things very well so it's kind of like a cheat sheet from my toll booth to create an object so this is what the create object is gonna be and then we'll fix it later that's just what we're gonna have right now and then I gotta figure out which model this is so And by the way, this is the add objects in the map, so... For right now, we're just adding an object to the map. So the object is 5422, which, you know, if I just control C, I can copy it. Which is easier, so the first thing needs to be the... Model... And then XYZ, so I need the XYZ now. So this is the X... This is the Y. And then we just need the Z. Which I forgot what it was, so... It's 14. Alright, so, uh... This is like rotation, so... I don't even know if this is like required, I forget. Um... I'm about to go figure out where create object is. Alright, let's see what the requirements are. So I didn't really explain that because I already knew what I was doing. Um, I didn't have to come here to figure it out. But, uh... This is a function. Shared function. So this is client and server. So, uh, client if you don't already know, is what the player sees, and server is what everyone sees, everyone on the server, so... If you do something client-wise, only you'll see it, only it'll, it'll only affect you, so like, markers and stuff, if you have it client-only, you'll only be the one to see, like, markers. And if it's server, then everyone sees the markers, that kind of stuff, so... But uh, this is shared, so this can be seen as a client and a server, so... Um, and on top of that, you also have to create your scripts. Client... like, they can't be client and server, you have to create one script for client and one for server, which is why we created two different uh, Lua thingies, um, so... Once you see this, this says uh, create object, so function is create object um, which if you see here create object the function name is gate one which this is gonna be like door one I guess I don't know <laughs> because uh, it's not a gate obviously it's a door uh, pay and spray door so we'll just name it door one so the function name is what this is 
and that's where it says object is where the function name would go and then the actual function is create object so this is create object this is the actual function which will create the object in the form of this model ID which is a door and then the XYZ which is the location where the door spawns so now we got to get the required uh, arguments which are model ID XYZ optional is rotation and since we're not gonna have a rotation on this then we don't need that we can actually delete that because it's not required it's optional so we just need the X Y and Z one X Y Z there we go all right so locally if you do local, this local thing, because usually you would put like function, uh, I guess function name, and then that, and then create object, and then blah blah blah. You do all that, basically the same thing. Like that's the format that you would, you would usually do. <clears throat> but if you do this local thing then you can actually make it to where this is it just spawns in like it has no function right now it's just there so that's basically what we're going for we just want the door to be there and then we'll add the functions later just to make it easier so we're not creating like useless functions with events that have no purpose and stuff like that which will cause errors and all kinds of other stuff that you don't want so that's the purpose for creating the local door rather than making like a function or whatever. If you watch someone who actually makes a tutorial rather than just like kind of hopping into it and showing you how to make a paint spray, you'll understand a little bit better if you get into it, but uh, it probably, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably have no idea what's going on or what I'm saying, so that's a thing. Sorry about that. All right, so what do we need now to create this paint spray? Um, we got the door. Alright, let's see. Wait, what just happened? Uh, nothing. Oh no, I seen like stuff moving. I was like, what the fuck? Alright, so... I want to create a marker as well. So... We're basically going to do the same format just to make it simple. Um, so, if I can get this to work. Um, I need to create a marker. I accidentally created two markers, whoops. The color like has it, it the color literally doesn't matter. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see, how do I get rid of that? I don't even know. There we go. Alright, so we want a cylinder. I guess. And then we wanna put this cylinder somewhere else. We don't want it here. So how do I like move it? Alright, there we go. Whoa. Okay. Um, we want it like in the middle somewhere. Because we're gonna make this marker big enough to where if you enter the building, or the pay and spray, or whatever, that wherever you put your car, it gets repaired. So, we're just gonna say the XYZ of this. I'm just gonna put the XYZ right here because I didn't copy the thing or I'll just do this and then fix it. All right, so local marker one. Might as well be marker one, like why not? It's still a marker, so... Wait, is that the XYZ? I don't... Hold up. We gotta figure out how to create a marker now. All 
right, let's see. I guess this would be server. I mean, we're doing a server anyway, so let's see. Um, XYZ, so XYZ does come first, yeah. Card arguments flow XYZ. Alright, so yeah, XYZ do come first. So, put that in there. Why? I mean, I could literally put 13, but whatever. Right, let's do that. <laughs> That's pointless. All right. So, <clears throat> and then the type of marker is right after it. So it's going to be cylinder. And then um, I need this to be... gonna put like 20 or something I don't know because I think uh, if I put zero it's gonna be an invisible marker but I want to see the marker to see how big it is so pretty sure that's how it works so we're gonna put 20 so it's slightly visible because that's what we want so I think we created the marker too that should be fine so now we want to add this Same thing that we added with the toll booth as well, because we want the door to actually move. So this is where we're gonna like pretty much copy a lot of the toll booth that I created in order to get the door to actually move properly. So function move toll. Uh, ch -ch 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 figure out exactly how this worked again. I'm literally gonna copy just everything and then put it in here and then like kind of fix it. All right, so this will be move door activated by the player is moving return thingy if source marker one which is still marker one then move the object which would be door one so that's what it is at the top it's not gate one anymore move time um, which is 400 seconds. It's the last thing that we have. So that's how long it would take to move. And then... Let's see... How this is set up exactly. Alright, so we're gonna have to copy... This create object. Wait, hold on. I gotta figure out if this is XYZ. XYZ. Alright, XYZ. And then we didn't add a rotation, so. The rotation is kind of like necessary though, so. I'm going to go back in here and then cancel this. We don't really want these markers, so we'll just remove them. Just needed them for a second. And now we are going to try to figure out where we're going with this map editor. So the rotation is zero, so... That's a thing. So what I want is the door to... I 
I guess it needs a rotation. How do I do a rotation without actually rotating it? Let's see why, like, what? Alright, that's kind of what we want. Whoops. Zero. Z50? No, it's not Z. X. 50? No, it's Y. It was Y all along, I don't believe it. 50. But it's like minus 50, right? It's not even minus 50, it's like minus 100. No, it's like minus 90? It's a 90 degree angle, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Um... I guess it would be like that. Alright, if I go up, it's gonna go that way. Um, I keep messing up. Alright, let's see. I guess it would be Z, right? No, it's not rotation. That's it's the Z of this. So. Just gonna keep going up until we figure it out. 18. So it's minus? Okay. What do I mean to go minus 80? Confuse. Oh, there we go. It, it was actually. Like that, so is it gonna be is that it? Like is that what we need? Is this right? Does this look right? I don't know. 